hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice algebraic problem and here we have uh, 3 to the power of n minus 2 to the power of n equals to 65 and we will solve this problem for the values of n so here I will solve this problem for the very different uh, approach or a unique technique and I hope so you will like this method so the very first thing we are going to do is here first uh, we multiply both of the multiply and divide both of the exponents by 2 and here we write 3 to the power of n and its whole power 2 over 2 minus 2 to the power of n and its whole power 2 over 2 equals to 65 and in the next step we need little bit simplifications here and we write we multiply the exponent 1 over 2 by n and we write it as 3 to the power of n over 2 and its whole square minus and here we again multiply 1 over 2 by n and we get 2 to the power of n and by 2 and its whole square equals to 65 and now in the next step we will uh, uh, we convert this nice exponential equation into the polynomial form so that here we take little bit substitutions so now we take y equals to or we take here x equals to 3 to the power of n over 2 minus and we take y equals to 2 to the power of n over 2 and now our above equation will becomes after this substitution uh, we will write our above equation as x square and here you have minus y square equals to 65 and and you know that this will becomes a very well known a famous uh, identity square identity and you know that the output of this e is uh, written uh, in this form x minus y times of x plus y equals to 65 and now you focus on the left hand side and you see that we have two factors and these are x minus y and x plus y and in the right hand side we have only one factor so here you have two factors and in the right hand side we have one factor so now we convert our right hand side in two factors so here we find the non trivial factors of 65 so that the non-trivial factors of uh, 65 are you will just write 65 is 13 times of 5 equals to 65 and our other non-trivial factor is 5 times of 13 equals to 65 and now you focus on the left hand side and you see that we have these two factors and when we make the relation between these two factors then you see that our first factor which is x minus y is always less than x plus y so that here we choose which pair who satisfy this condition so if you see that 13 and 5 so 13 is greater than 5 but if you see here 5 is less than 13 so this means that x equals to 5 or this means that this pair will be related to this factor so now we compare these two fair pairs or we write this 65 as 5 times of 13 
and now we compare both of the sides and you see here we have x minus y equals to 5 and x plus y equals to 13 so we have these two factors and now we solve these two factors and we move towards the final answer so we can first uh, add or subtract these two factors and our first is x plus y equals to 13 and the second factor is x minus y equals to 5 so when we add these two factors then you easily get 2x equals to 18 and this implies that we will get the value of x equals to 9 and now we move towards to find the value of x uh, value of y so you put the value of x in equation number 1 so you put the value of x here and we write from equation number 1 so here our equation number 1 will becomes in this form x plus y equals to 13 and our x is 9 plus y equals to 13 and this implies that y equals to 13 minus 9 and we will easily get uh, the value of y equals to 4 so here we uh, obtain the values of x and y and now we write here x equals to 9 and y equals to 4 so now we move towards to back substitution and here you see that we will put x equals to 3 to the power of n over 2 and y equals to 2 to the power of n over 2 so now we back substitute these two values here and you get we put the value of x and x equals to 3 to the power of n over 2 equals to 9 and the value of y is 2 to the power of n over 2 equals to 4 and now if you focus on uh, both of the equations on the right hand side you will see here we have 3 to the power of n over 2 equals to we have over 9 and we write it as 3 squared and similarly if you see here we have 2 to the power of n over 2 equals to 4 and we write it as 2 squared and now you compare both of the sides and you will obtain n over 2 equals to 2 and here you obtain n over 2 equals to 2 so in both of the cases you will get the value of n equals to 4 so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos